From the IHLS studios in Tel Aviv, this is Homeland Security Weekly Report. Hello and welcome to the Homeland Security Weekly Report. I'm Anna Brooks. Here's this week's latest news roundup from around the world. Recently, there's been a growing demand for unmanned aerial systems that are capable of taking off from Navy ships. However, launching aircraft from ships and recovering them later are difficult technical obstacles. A solution to the problem may be based on launching by catapult, later retrieving the aircraft using an arresting net. This new solution is currently being developed by Israeli UAS manufacturer Aeronautics. Iranian hackers attacked U.S. Navy networks, infiltrating the system for months before finally being repelled. Various sources in the U.S., including representatives from Congress, expressed their concerns about the Iranian infiltration, saying its severity may have been underestimated. Direct damage from the attack is estimated at $10 million. The German army has reported its UAS attrition rates over the last decade. The Germans rely heavily on UAS, which naturally results in significant losses. Downed aircrafts include 56 Luna UAVs, 23 Aladdin UAVs, 4 Mikado UAVs, in addition to two leased Israeli herons used in Afghanistan. Snipers are a serious threat to law enforcement personnel. High-powered rifles with matching optics can cause many casualties. A system developed recently may help solve this problem. An electro-optical system that detects and locates small arm fire sources is the new system that is being jointly developed by the Israeli Ministry of Defense and the U.S. Army. You open your smartphone and expect to see a Wi-Fi sign on the screen. You smile when it's there, but you may not be aware of the dangers. Researchers from the University of Liverpool recently developed a virus that can easily infect devices over Wi-Fi networks. The virus, called Chameleon, can not only avoid detection, but can also spread very rapidly through unprotected Wi-Fi access points. Now we're being joined by Commander Horace Frank of the LAPD Technology Bureau. Commander Frank, how did the LAPD delegation come about? Uh, the delegation came about as a result of a previous relationship we had with a gentleman by the name of Adam Shainson Consulting Group. And uh, we acquired the funding and this was an opportunity for us to bring some high-level command staff from within the Los Angeles Police Department to take a look at some of the best practices here in Israel. What are the challenges that you face for security over the next five to ten years? As I mentioned this morning, obviously our concern would be, cost is always a concern. Uh, um, but when it comes to security and, 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 and using technology, we have, we have our new mayor, uh, Mayor Eric Garcetti, whose mantra has been that we have to leverage uh, a whole lot more technology within the city and less in humans. And, and I think that is really a very important piece that we have to, to consider and using technology towards, towards that end. Thank you for joining us, Commander Frank. Absolutely, thank you. Thank you for joining us for this week's Homeland Security Weekly Report. We'll see you again next week, and for further reading, click our website below. Until next time, I'm Anna Brooks.